Hi, welcome to the data structures in Python playlist. In this playlist, we are going to study different types of data structures. So the first data structure that we are going to discuss is the stack data structure. So basically data structures are used to give some form to a data. And by giving some properties to the data, we can form structures out of them. Now using these structures, we can do a lot of operations on them which will basically help us in a lot of applications. So let's start with the stack data structure. So the first property that the stack data structure defines is the leaf property, which is the last in first out property, which defines the structure of the data. So I'm going to show an animation video of how to, uh, to visualize the stack data structure of how insertion and deletion operation is carried out in the stack data structure. So last and first out means that the last element that goes inside of the stack data structure is going to become the first element to come out of the data structure. Mostly we call insertion operation or the insert element operation in the stack data structure as a push operation and delete of element or deletion is known as the pop operation. So let's see how the stack data structure performs the insertion and deletion. And then we are going to implement this in the Python programming language. And I will use Python version three to implement this whole data structure. So first of all, let's consider that we have some elements. Let's say three is the first element that I have, then eight, nine, and five. So let's say we have these four data. And now let's say I have a stack here. In this stack, what we're going to do is we're going to insert the elements one by one. First of all, we will pick the element three. Now we will insert this element into the stack. The next element we will pick is eight and then we will insert it in the stack. And similarly, we're going to do it with nine and five also. So in this manner, we push the elements in the stack. Now let's say we want to perform the deletion operation. So let's suppose we want to delete the element eight from the stack. Now the rule says that the last element that goes inside the stack can only come out. So in this data structure, if we want to delete the element eight, we cannot directly do that. We will first have to remove the elements that are on the top of it. So the step one is popping out the element five. So we will pop out the element from the stack. Then the next element is nine, which is on the top of eight. So we will remove nine also. And now since we, we can see that the eighth element is at the top of the stack, we can now remove the eighth element. And finally, we will again push back nine and five inside of this stack. So in this manner, we perform the insertion and deletion operation inside of the stack. And the restriction is the LIFO, which is last in first out. So we are only allowed to uh, pop out the last element or the top element of the stack. Now this will be a lot helpful when we want to find out the recently added item to the stack. So now let's try to implement this whole data structure in Python. So I'm going to use Jupyter Notebook to implement this and Basically, uh, you can use any other IDE like PyCharm to implement this. So first of all, we will build a stack. So I'm going to just write a comment here that we will build a stack. And then uh, one fortunate thing about Python is that it provides list implementation. So basically list can be used to build a stack and we can use some predefined or inbuilt functions like the append function to perform the insertion operation. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, you can see I have created an empty list here, right, empty list. In the next step, we are going to push some elements inside the stack. So now I'm going to use the stack.append function to push an element into the stack. So let's say we want to push an element three inside the stack. So first of all, I'm going to write and comment here that we are trying to push elements inside the stack. Or 
all right so now we will append some more elements in the stack so let's try to append four eight or six and like this we can append some more elements in the stack all right so before appending these three let's say we are appending only uh, three inside of the stack so let's see what is the how the stack will look like now i will hit Control enter to see the result so you can see the stack has now three inside it so now if we, i will push some more element in it so let's push six now again i'm going to use the append function to push six inside the element now you can see three and six are there inside of the stack. So all the elements are going to push inside of the stack like this. Now let's try to push some more elements in the stack. Let's push eight. And similarly, I will push one more last element. Let's put push seven inside this. All right, so you can see this is the stack. This is how my stack looks like. So now let's say I want to remove six out of this stack. So there is no way I can remove six from the stack right away. We will first have to remove seven and eight. So now we will have to use the pop operation to delete some element from the stack. So when I will use the stack dot pop function, which is the predefined function in Python, we do not, we do not need to implement it. What it will do is it will remove the item that you have added recently to the stack. So you can see the element that we have added was seven. You can see the seven was added at the last. So after popping out, it will remove uh, seven from the stack. So if I will hit control enter, you can see it has removed seven from the stack. Similarly, we, if we will make a call again to the pop function, it will remove eight from the stack. And now you can see eight is removed. And th in this manner, we can actually uh, pop out and push some elements into the stack. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.